Welcome back. Now, when the Miss World beauty pageant was staged in London in December last year, one young woman mesmerized Kenyans. Maria Wavinia from Nyandarua County performed tremendously, emerging position six in a competition that attracted beauties from across the globe. The Mount Kenya University student is more than just a pretty face. She is engaged in several community-based activities that aim to empower young girls and women living in informal settlements. Tonight, she speaks to Citizen TV's Gilda Naibé. What do they call you at home? What is the nickname? <laughs> Maya. <laughs> Maya? Yes. Why Maya? Because that is a name that they pulled out for me when I was in high school. Yeah. I think I was in a school in Nyandarwa County mm -hmm. and you see lots of Kikuis we have a problem with R and L. So a friend of mine suggested instead of calling her Malia, let's just call her Maya. It's so close to it. Mm -hmm. So we can always call her Maya. Yeah. And the name stuck and everybody started calling me Maya. I was the most disciplined one. Okay, leave alone being disciplined. I think everybody used to like me, uh, academic-wise. I, uh, I was a student's leader ever since I was in Form 1, mm -hmm. all the way to Form 4. Mm -hmm. And when I was in Form 2, because I, was, I studied in Central Manunga Girls, they crowned me Miss Manunga. I handed over the, the title when I was in Form 4. My very first time to think about fashion, I was, let's say, something like 11 or 10. I watched it on TV, like the high fashion models, and it drew me somehow close, you know. I was like, oh my God, I love the poise of this girl. Just look at her, look at how she's playing with the cameras and everything. I had this aunt of mine, she's still there up to now, and she's still my role model. She contested in Nyandarwa's beauty pageant, and she plays like all of them in second, third position, not really took the crown, mm -hmm. but that's a, a very high place. And you see, every time I used to go to her pageant, and I was really tiny, yeah. nobody could even say like, Ay, this girl really has so much potential. Yeah. I used to sit there and look at my aunt and I'm like, oh my God, look at all these girls. You know, I wanna be like her. When I was, I, I think it was last year, I tried my first pageant, I didn't win. This year, I tried uh, Miss Stories in Nandawa mm -hmm. County. I didn't win. Mm -hmm. I only placed in top five, mm -hmm. and that was the end of it. I came to Nairobi, and you know, I sharpened everything about the car talk, about you know, how, what it takes to be a beauty queen. Mm -hmm. And then there I saw the advert on social media about the Miss World competition. Mm -hmm. I went to the auditions as per they stated the date and the time. Mm -hmm. Luckily, I was in the top twenty, yeah. and then. I went for the one week boot camp afterwards, mm -hmm. and then it was okay. Each boot camp is always a learning process. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's so hard mm -hmm. because that's when the judges get to see. I think I would like this girl because of this, this, and that. Mm -hmm. I think we can help her improve on this, this, and that. Mm -hmm. But she has this so much potential, mm -hmm. and I think that's what my franchise saw in me because I was still so young and I was still so ready yeah. to learn. I still am up to now, mm -hmm. so. I did, we did the show on 5th of October, and God bless me with this beautiful crown, yeah. and here I am today. Oh. Always having a purpose for everything that you do, and I can tell everybody in the world, for as much as it's an egocentric purpose, you're gonna lose, you're mm. gonna fail. Because mm. in there, there is someone who is really doing it because she feels this is a platform for me to do this and that mm. for my community or for my family. Nandara is the most beautiful place yeah. I've ever been mm. in my entire life. Yeah. Because you talk about the nature, talk about the wildlife. Mm. Actually, I was born in Nandara. When I was about seven years old, I moved with my mama and my sister to Mombasa mm -hmm. when I was 12. Yeah. I lost my mom. My mom was uh, so humble. That is the one thing that I pulled out from my mother. And maturity is yeah. what that experience taught me. When I go to London, I even forgot that I'm 18. Yeah. See, when we are having the chit chats with the other models, and they're like, oh, how old are you? And I'm like, I'm 18. And they're like, what? <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah. I'm like, yes, I'm 18. And they're like, no, you don't look 18, you don't act 18, mm. you don't speak like an 18-year-old. Yeah. 
so generally beauty the purpose is always a cause of champion mm -hmm. can be in your country mm -hmm. other countries in the whole world ending period poverty and period shaming i mean it is all about ending poverty and period shaming i joined up with this organization called heels for Pads. it's a social impact organization so what we do is we exchange our heels for sanitary towels and that is what i did so we've been to various schools around Kenya and also been to Kenya's biggest and most dangerous lama mm -hmm. We bring the women together and the girls together. We talk to them, uh, teach them about menstrual hygiene and all that. And then at the end of it, we give them sanitary towels. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that at any point, no woman has to feel like, no, they're, they're, they're disgracing me because of this. Uh, I know how it feels like to lack something. Being the voice and always standing up for these girls and these women is what really drove me to have this as my beauty with a purpose. And it's not only my beauty with a purpose, but my lifetime cause of champion. Your background does not define you. You can become this, you can do this, you can do this. God is just waiting for you to step out of your comfort zone and say, I think I can do this and I know I can do it and actually do it. He's going to bless you and he's going to open the doors for you. If you've always wanted to become something or you've always looked up to someone and said, you know, you know, I think when I grow up, I want to be like this person. It's not too early to start. Just step out of your comfort zone and go for that what you want in life, you know. And in everything that you do, every night before you go to bed, kneel down and tell God something.